you know what day it is today. It is Indy 500 race day and Monaco race day. You already know my pick for the day. Scotty D. And then Monaco's happening in about an hour. And that's my pick right there. We got Schumacher going through uh, turn three at Monaco right there. But Leclerc is starting on pole today. We got the 2020 Indy 500 running right now. Very tragic that uh, Dixon couldn't win that one. You already know what we're going to be rocking today. PNC Bank. Scotty D. Been a Dixon fan since I was in middle school. Got this at Kentucky Speedway in 08. The year he won the Indy 500. And he won a championship that year. Monaco's happening in about an hour. And the Indy 500's about three or four hours out. We're about to head up to the track. It is a very, very chaotic day already. We're driving up to Indianapolis right now. And I'm watching Monaco right here on my phone. And it's uh, it's coming down pretty hard there at Monaco. So we're about to have a wet weather race at Monaco. Of course, it's going to be a chaotic race the day that I'm driving up to Indy. So I'm not going to be able to watch it fully. But it's still got it on. I'm checking it out. It's going to be a good day today. It's a heavy braking zone. It's going to be sunny skies today at Indianapolis, so. though. Sitting here in the line for the traps and getting into the track. You know, it's going to be probably a 30, 40 minute wait just to get off the highway. It's kind of usual for the Indy 500, but 300,000 people. They still have yet to race. Made it to Speedway, Indiana. It was uh, a lot of traffic and a lot of parking. Parked in somebody's backyard. They came in clutch, about to head up to the track. It's an absolute cluster out here. There's so many people trying to get in. This line goes literally like 300 feet that way. It's all solid lines. Jesus. This is the Indianapolis 500 for you. Front stretch stands. Turn one. I'm about to go all the way around to go into turn two, go under the tunnel, because I am not standing in that line. Just made it into the track without getting security checked. That's the uh, that's the one good thing about having a very nice camera on you. They don't even care about you. I got a whole backpack and they never checked it. You boys vlogging? <laughs> got the video going? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. What's up, man? You guys got a YouTube? Yes, sir. Shout it out. Shout it out. <clears throat> You guys do race stuff a lot or no? Yeah, I, I'm always at races. Like I travel around just racing everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Where's the other tracks you've been to? Uh, Daytona. I okay. usually just always go back and forth between here and there. I usually go wherever, you know, lightning is. You know where you need to go? Where? Mid-Ohio. Mid-Ohio? Yes. That's a good time What's right there. What's out there? IndyCar, IMSA, NASCAR, but who cares? Does lightning race in those? Lightning? Yeah, McQueen. This driver right here, this is who you're going to want to watch today. That's Scott Dixon. And if you're not watching him, then... Oh, Dixon? Like Dixon Yass? Exactly. I'd be, I'd be calling him Scott Dixon the whole field. Because oh. he dicks on the whole field. This sand trap right here is full of Denny Hamlin tears. If you know, you know. Pain.
OK crashes out of this 106th running. Down in the middle of turn two. Wow, fireball as the gearbox explodes. Got it, Bob. Inside at the exit of turn two. And take a look, there's going to be a yellow light. You see it come on yep. right before he gets to this line. That's the pit commit line. He was so close to getting away with that. Scott Dixon and his race team. Here we go. Inside Connor Daly. Outside clear. And you can hear the roar from the crowd. Crashes out of the Indianapolis 500. The rear end just steps out in traffic, and that is a massive left side hit. We're going green again. happened to the driver of the yellow submarine Whoa, wow that is big wicked wicked wiggle at the apex of turn four that could have been turn three, even worse. sorry three Time to settle it. here we go 42 laps to go the green flag waves big jump for Pato here comes Scott Dixon Dixon to the outside he beats the pass Dixon Let's gets go. in the lead watching to see if everyone up is that going to be a pit speed violation that's the first hiccup we have seen from scott dixon today scott dixon got caught drive for speeding here. guys there you go oh. he's going to have to serve a drive through oh penalty. my goodness unbelievable death unbelievable first of all it was alex Palo entering the pits and scott dixon says come on are you serious and there goes felix rosenquist to the front of the field at the indy 500 dixon bad luck strikes again just pitted in that lead group that you see on the pylon Here we but go. this is the lead group Here on we strategy go. erickson to the inside this husky chocolate honda is flying oh a crash jimmy johnson in Whoa. the wall and this could change Ooh. everything well and but uh, Jimmy Johnson just hit the wall, and we're having a red flag with five laps to go. Jimmy Johnson going Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> this ain't NASCAR, bro. In the hands of race control, red flag. Whoa. Red oh. flag, this changes <laughs> the game. Three point checker. Come on! It's time to bring the action at the 
Indianapolis 500. Here we go. Who's going to do it? Great restart, Ericsson. Phenomenal jump from the number eight. Look at him swerving, trying to break the track. Rosen now Quist. back to Lord. Rosen Quist and I want on the inside. Tony Kanata is not going to let that happen. Kanata the high side on the dirty track. Hello. get it done and even getting a massive run on him we have no way and our ward is on the attack here it comes pedo ericsson won't let it happen here we go final lap of the indy 500 ericsson's gonna win it I think Erickson hit us. Someone hit the wall. Marcus Erickson. Erickson wins under caution. Marcus Erickson wins the Indianapolis. Damn. 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 Ensues. 350,000 people try to leave the track at once. There's your Indy 500 winner, Marcus Erickson and Chip Ganassi. So much better. That's where I was sitting the whole race. These seats are a little bit more pricey, but they're so much better. But yeah, that's gonna be it. back uh, for another episode in July for IndyCar at 